right now everybody I'm working on this this is the closet with all of my herbs and spices and there are some more spices I got the first part of the kitchen done and now this is the overwhelming part because I got to organize everything here this is what I call another hot hi everybody and welcome to my channel today is week two of a major cleanup as you've seen in last week's video we cleaned the whole kitchen and all the cupboards Today, I have a real mess. I have a lot of stuff I have to work on. I actually started working on these shelves in this closet. So now I'm taking a full inventory of everything that I have as far as food-wise. And you've seen last week, if you missed that video, please go ahead and watch it above me and I'll share it at the end of this video because that was a real special video. Our son came and helped and it was just so much work. Now I have all of this here. And so I cleaned all them out brought any spices or any dehydrated foods, rice and beans and all of that, brought it here. What I'm doing today is this closet is going to be totally organized and cleaned up. I have everything all over the floor because I'm taking a whole bunch of my jars and combining them into one. So I'm going through all of my inventory and trying to consolidate everything so I have more room like popcorn. I have so many little jars of popcorn. I'm going to all put them in one big jar. The same with oatmeal. Here's some more popcorn. And then I'm cleaning this all out because I'm hoping that something will fit in here. I ordered it on Amazon. I don't buy very much when it comes to different kinds of totes and all the latest organization things. But I did buy this because I felt like I really needed it I am going through everything in my home and I'm going through everything and I'm downsizing. I'm only keeping the things that I know I'm going to use and I'm making things so much easier for me. Have you ever went to make your favorite recipe and you spent half the time looking for the ingredients? That's me. And I will be the first one to acknowledge that when it comes to things behind the closed door, it's sloppy. It's unorganized and it's a disgrace. My mom, if she would ever seen this, oh my word, I don't know what she would say to me. So, as my house is clean, when people see it, but behind the closed doors here, like these cupboards, it wasn't. And so we're getting everything back in track and cleaning and disinfecting everything. Not only am I taking everything out, I am cleaning and disinfecting with antibacterial cleaner and I'm making everything fresh and clean. So my videos aren't so long. I'm just going to share with you different snapshots of video as I get through the process. So that shelf is done. That shelf is done. This shelf here is done. All of these shelves here are done. And you can see where I stopped. And now I'm working on this shelf. So we're putting everything together. All the breadcrumbs go together. I have cornstarch, which I have another one of cornstarch. I mean, that's what I have. And I need to put everything together and make it into smaller amounts. All right, everybody. It is exhausting doing this. I never realized how tiring it was to do this. When I worked on my kitchen, I was so tired. And the older you get, I can see the older you get, the more organized you want to be because it's so much easier to live an organized life than to have such chaos. I mean, who feels like cooking when you open a door like this and everything falls out of it? I mean, I don't feel like cooking. I don't feel like making my favorite recipe if I can't find anything that I'm looking for. So I'm going to get started and we're going to finish these cupboards. So this, what I call another one of my areas that need a lot of work is going to be finished and then on to the next week when we can work on another challenging area of my life.
spices and put them in my spice rack and get this kitchen table cleaned up for once. It's been three days now and it's really been starting to bug me. So we're going to go ahead and clean everything up and finish this project once and for all. So in my quest to organize my home a little bit more, today we're going to work on spices. Now, as you know, I went through all of my cupboards and cleaned everything out. I didn't share with you yet, but this is what I bought myself for Christmas. Now, I think it's so unique, but there's a story behind it. When we were first married, I got one of these for a wedding gift, and I loved it. But through the years and the multiple moves that we made, I somehow got rid of it. And I'm all about nostalgia these days. I'm all about having things that I had when I was younger. I know, but it's going to help me with organizing. And it's going to help me to have a very easy access to my spices and things when I'm cooking. So I have all kinds of spices in jars like these. I'm hoping to downsize all of these jars. Downsize everything and have it more at an area where I can have it designated to that and I can find it really quickly. I'm starting to turn out like my mother-in-law, and let me explain to you why. My mother-in-law had so much stuff. She had so much food stuff, and what happened was she didn't know where everything was, so when she would go to the grocery store, she'd pick up another one, and another one, and another one. Before you knew it, she had five of the same thing. I used to organize her cupboards, and I enjoyed doing that, and I would put everything at the same together and she couldn't believe how many ketchups she had how many mustards she had and that is how I'm becoming and so I need to have everything in its place so I'm gonna take you on a little journey and show you the grocery store right now take you along and show you the grocery store I went to to get a few spices that I needed yet to finish this beautiful spice rack and let me show you right here So the Dollar Tree is a great place to buy your spices if you need anything like that. Dollar Tree has so much and I've got the chives that I needed. I have my own chives drained and I have them in a mix with mushrooms and onions and I use that when I'm making different kinds of stews. So I really wanted plain chives. So we're going to go ahead I'm going to put all of these in their beautiful little glass jars. And I'll share with you in a link below if I can find it to this one. This one was really hard to find, but I wanted this one because this is the exact one I had in 1988. And you can buy them brand new, but they're a little hard to find. All right, everyone, so let's get putting them in our jars and having everything cleaned up nicely, organized. Organization, my friends, is the key. And now's the time to do it before it gets really warm outside and then we're focused on outside projects. Just a quick reminder, if you want to see all of my videos, you have to click that notification bell.